In this video, we're going to take a look at how to nest columns inside other columns in Bootstrap. And it's actually not that hard once you get the concept down. That's really all it is. Now, let's go ahead and load up our web page. So what we want to do is go ahead and nest some columns inside of this main column. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go right here. And of course, here is our div for our main column. We want to nest it within this div right here. So we're going to go ahead and create some space here. And we're going to do it right after this text, this main call text. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter and make some space. So there we go. So what we want to do now is place some new columns in here. That's exactly what we want to do. Now, the first thing we need to do is create another row, right? Because we know that rows organize our columns. So we just go ahead and copy and paste that up here. And we're going to create another div. We got to close it out. So let's just do that real quick. And there you can see we've got our row now. Now we can go ahead and start to create our columns. So let's go ahead and just copy this column right up here. And we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste this right into here. There we go. So now we've got our first column. So let's size this and let's actually make this an MD4. Now keep in mind, this will scale to the size of our main column and Bootstrap handles that for you. So basically, this MD4 would be a different size if it was outside of our MD6 column. But since it's inside here, it'll scale to this MD6. Just wanted to let you know that. Okay, now let's go ahead and we're gonna create a different class. And we're gonna call this inside for column inside. So that's what we're gonna name our class. And for the text, let's just call this inside column. That works. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. And now let's open up our style sheet. And then what we want to do is just go ahead and create some rules here for our new class. And so we'll just go ahead and copy and paste down here. And remember that was call inside. Good. And we don't need margin. Let's get rid of that. We'll set the minimum height to 100 pixels. We'll center the text. We'll continue doing that. And let's go ahead and set the color to orange. Okay. So let's go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and see what we get. Hey, good, look at that. Now, you might be wondering, well, why do we have all this gray space here? Keep in mind, this is a row with columns. So if you want this column larger, you could make this an MD8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to size it all the way. And let's, let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's set this to a 12 and this should scale the entire, remember that's as far as you can go, 12, I believe. So let's go ahead and save that and let's rerun this. There, take a look. Now that column goes all the way across. That basically means, hey, set the width at 100% of this main column. Now, you could say, hey, I'm done. That's fine. That's all you want. And that's great. But what if you want to add multiple columns here? Well, it's pretty simple, right? You could actually create another row in here like we did with our main page. But let's go ahead and set this back to four. And let's go ahead and copy and paste this in a couple times now. Whoops, we just need all of this right here. I know this is not aligned, but I'm just sort of moving along here pretty quick. But let's go ahead and just copy and paste this twice over. So we'll go ahead and one more paste after this. And let's go ahead and save this. And now we should have three columns in there. Let's take a look. Take a look at that. We've got three columns now and they are all sized appropriately. So again, it's sort of the same concept that we've been talking about. When you play around with the size of the columns, you just use that number at the end of the class, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever you want. You can go ahead and arrange these in whatever manner you want. Okay, so that's how you nest columns in Bootstrap. 